Hello there. This is an astrology forecast for Pisces for August 2010. And this also applies if you have a Piscean ascendant. So my Pisceans, Uranus has gone retrograde again coming into your sign. So many of you that experienced so many upheavals over these last few years, you may find that you've got a few more lessons that need to be completed in those areas where you had the upheaval, be it in your finances, your relationships, your career, whatever it was, there were a lot of lessons you needed to learn. And you may just be reminded of some of those lessons during this retrograde. Don't let it phase you, don't let it freak you out, but just be aware that as long as you've completed these lessons, then you won't experience too much turbulence with this transit of um, Uranus again retrograde into your sign. We are going to have a big focus this month on your relationships and on your finances, Pisces. Erratic finances, changeable finances, but a good time to expand what it is that you do. So if you don't have a job, then start thinking creatively of the things that you might do to earn money. Could be part-time, could be temporary, whatever it is, but anything that you enjoy. Because Pisces, so many of you are so very creative. You've got huge gifts often with spatial, with design, with colour. Uh, you've got so many gifts in this creative area, Pisces, and you often just sit on it or you don't push outwards. This will be a time to push outwards with your creative skills and it will help you make money. You will be able to earn money as long as you do it in a way that shows that that enjoyment shines forth and you do it in a way where you're actually asking for money. Sometimes many of you have a difficulty in actually asking for enough money for your services. That may be one of the lessons that you have to learn from these transits. The sun is in your sixth house for until about the 23rd of the month. So this is a big focus on your work, a focus on you enjoying your work, a focus on finding work that you enjoy, doing work that you enjoy. Also um, a good time for contributing, maybe to helping, to volunteering to helping people less fortunate than yourself. This will be a really good month to do that, particularly the first three weeks or so with the sun in that house. Also a good time for a new diet or a new regime or a new exercise plan or anything connected with your physical health and physical well-being. This will be a good time to start something new and to turn over a new leaf, maybe to stop smoking or drinking or whatever it is that will enhance and improve your physical feelings. We've got a lot of planets in the house of relationship for you this month, Pisces. So any of you that are looking for a relationship, boy, this could be the lucky month for you. Because with Venus in that uh, house of relationship, this could be somebody really lovely coming into your life. And with Mercury there, you should be able to talk with them and meet them on a mind level. With the sun there, you should be able to shine as well. So um, enjoy your relationships this month. Find excuses to go out, to be social and to meet people if you are in the place where you're single or you want to meet someone. If you're already in a relationship, great time for doing things together. Doing things, common interests, planning to do things together so that you can deepen and enhance your relationship. I've got to tell you that Mercury goes retrograde this month on the 20th until September the 11th. So make sure any agreements, anything to sign, any lease, any job interview, any selling document, anything that needs to be um, vetted by a professional, any taxation documents, immigration, try and get all that done before the 20th of the month. After the 20th, great time to do research, to relax, to reflect, to think about your situation and then when it goes direct again then you can start taking more actions again. As well don't forget to back up your hard drive and any really important information you've got maybe take it off-site so that you've got a duplicate somewhere else because often things get lost during, during this Mercury retrograde. So there you have it, big focus on your finance and your relationships this month Pisces and sometimes maybe some lessons that just need to be reinforced to be sure that you've learned them. So thank you for all the questions that you've been sending to me. The one question for $25 that I answer in an email of up to 150 words. You might want to ask a question like I've entered a writing contest. Am I going to win? Um, what career would best suit me? Because the chart can show the talents in inside of you 
and where you should be putting your focus and where you're going to be happiest in your life. Your chart will show those areas. So keep the questions coming. You also might want to consider having an in-depth reading, a half hour or an hour's reading where I look at your personal chart and we can either talk on the phone or on Skype and discuss your direction and find you some clarity so you can move forward with confidence. So I thank you for listening and I wish you a great month. Bye for now.